Hello. Just get my table out. That's the wrong one. Ready? What do you like? Yeah, sure. I'll be on there in a second and set that load. That's it. Okay. Brilliant, thank you. Coffee. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you See ya. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Alright? Yeah, you? Yeah. Good. Just two weeks left. That's say when's your moving day? <laughs> two weeks. Yeah. You ready? No. Right. No, yeah, you've got to start, I think, yeah. Are you getting, like, removal people, or...? No, it's just too expensive, so we've got a van. Yeah, yeah. Until you start... Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you always think that until you start actually emptying everything, yeah. Yeah, that, oh, yeah, that's the... That's the dangerous one. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I know someone that stayed in their bought, bought a house and stayed in their old one until everything was all refurbished and all done. They just went in; it was already. I was like. I was going to do that because we were renting, and we was going to do like a month's crossover. Yeah. I oh, know, yeah, the, mon the money's, yeah, yeah. 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 Where's my chocolate gone? Three eighty, please. I'll be out of three eighty, Dad. I have to cut out my, I have to cut out my spending. <laughs> well, you could just 
<laughs> That's, oh yeah, true. <laughs> bit far, maybe, bit far. <laughs> All right, see you later. See you, later. See you, see you tomorrow. Hello, everyone. How are we? Yeah, that's one of my regulars. She's moving away. It's 380 a day. Disappeared. What are we going to do? Right, I'm going to try it. I'm hoping this condensed milk in here is still okay. Seems fine. I'm only using it for myself before you think like oh, why they just use the stuff that it seems that it's just fine. Because I wanted to try this Spanish latte. This oat ice Spanish latte. That's what I wanted to try. It was recommended. I can't remember the name again, annoyingly. I'll put it I'll put it down here. But I remember seeing the coffee, so I'm going to try. I remember it was an a iced oat Spanish latte, which is... I've never had this, and I've never made this. And it's freezing today. So... Is it, like, annoying that I, like, start something and then stop it? I'm waiting my camera's not on, Wonky. I've got a hood on. I feel like it's wonky. Oh well. Oh well, you used to a standard quality of video by now. No. Ice. Condensed milk. Don't know how much to put in. That seems like a lot, but I'll put that much in. It seems like quite a lot. Oat milk. Right. <laughs> it's really thick, it's not going past it. I think I should have put the espresso in first. I'll put that in. Okay. And then, if I need a good, need a good old mix, I'm going to get a spoon involved. Alright. Mixed up now. Oh, my GoPro's wonky. That's getting mixed up. Right, I'll put a bit more in. A bit more oat milk. And I hope I've done that justice. That was quite a lot of condensed milk. Here we go. Let's try a Spanish. Oh, ice latte. Mm, it's like custard. Oh, booming hell. That is nice. That is nice. It's like a dessert. I really, that's quite sweet. Oh, it has a nice texture. It's like thick, thick like custard. That's I call that a custard ice latte. That's what I'm calling it. Out of five, that's like a. It's delicious. So I've got to say, like, I've got to say like four point five. I'm absolutely chugging that down. That is really nice. Actually. How's this fire in this sweet and condensed milk? I'll tell you what I am going to try and do today. I'm going to try and make eggnog. I've never made it before. I don't even think I've ever really had it before. So I don't really know what to even compare it to. But I'm going to try and make my own. And do like eggnog lattes and stuff. That's something I'm 
That's something I'm going to attempt today. That's that, that's really nice. I've nearly drunk it already. It's sweet. It's unhealthy, I'd imagine. Millions of calories, but that's what makes it taste nice, isn't it? Cheers. So it's a rainy, very quiet day because it's absolutely pissing it down down there, out there. So what I'm going to try and do, try and keep myself productive, I'm going to try and make eggnog. I never made it before. I don't think I've even really ever had it before. I'm going to try and make it and see what it's like because I'm thinking eggnog lattes and stuff like that for Christmas could be quite nice. And with it being homemade, maybe even better. So... I've got the recipe up here. I'm going to follow it and see what happens. Whisk the eggs and sugar together in a medium bowl until light and creamy. So I need six egg yolks. Excuse my uh, collection of jumpers on the thing there. I need six egg yolks. One, two, three, four. I'm going to try not to drop them. One, two, three, five, six. Right. Turn the oven off, I don't need that anymore. Okay, six eggs and I've got to, I've got to yolk them. So I'm gonna try it. Right. Uh, okay. There's a medium mixing up bowl, but I haven't actually got a hand whisker, so this is gonna have to do. I'm hoping this will do. It is a bit of a big bowl though. Right. It was egg yolks, yeah. Two large egg yolks. I mean, not sure if these are large, really rated as large, but so Bit gross doing this, isn't it? Three. I bet I doubt. I mean, it's literally torrential out there. I doubt anyone's going to be coming here, but I feel like I've got to keep checking. That's the most annoying thing about doing stuff like this. You've always got to keep checking if someone's going to turn up or not. Okay. I wouldn't say they're large yolks, but they're egg yolks nonetheless. This is my first attempt ever making this, I will just say. Just for just FYI. So don't be don't be looking at me on how to make eggnog. And to be quite honest with you. I need to actually try what it actually tastes like because I'm going to taste it and I don't really know what it's meant to taste like so I'm just going off is it nice is it going to be nice or not that's what my that's what my judgment's going to be is it going to does it taste nice and if it doesn't taste nice then I'm either going to assume that I've done it wrong or eggnog's horrible right so it says do that um, and the sugar, which is half a cup of granulated sugar. Oh, hello. Oh God, all the, uh, all the eggs frothed up. Right, let's get back to it. Half a cup of granulated sugar. This is granulated sugar, isn't it? Caster sugar. Yeah, I do have a feeling that this bowl is going to be too big, but I don't. I actually don't own a hand whisk. Why would you? But maybe it's to reach the bottom. I feel lucky. Whisk egg yolks and sugar together, really gold until light and creamy. Light and creamy. What's doing it? Eh? 
Okay. It's already looking. It's already looking passable. Here's like a picture on here of what light and creamy looks like. He's always got no, there isn't a picture of light and creamy. I mean, to me, that looks pretty light and creamy. Maybe not creamy yet, give it a little bit longer. Then it says, in a saucepan over medium heat, combine the cream, milk, nutmeg, and salt. Here's my pan. Oh, that's looking lighter now. Um, how much uh, add the cream? How much cream was it? One cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm going to leave that for a little bit longer. It looks like it's doing something. A heavy whipping cream. In the UK, I'm pretty sure that's just double cream. So I bought double cream. I'm going to leave it as that. That looks pretty light and creamy. Right, so you want one cup of heavy cream. God, I hate these lids. It's just such a feel like it's all wasting. Right, one cup of heavy cream. That's going, that's going in there. Probably a bit larger of a saucepan, but... Look, this is, this is a learning process, if anything. That's one cup of heavy cream. Then on, um, just so you know, I'm not selling this to anyone. This is just this is just a trial run. Um, then what was it? Milk. How much milk? Two cups of milk. Got plenty of that. Got plenty of where that came from. Two cups of milk. One. Now I'm following the mes American recipe because I'm pretty sure nutmeg, uh, eggnog is that. So they must know, right? Nutmeg, half a teaspoon of nutmeg. I went to go get all the stuff for it and I actually basically have it all, which is quite, which is quite fun. I just didn't have cream. Nutmeg and salt. How much salt? A pinch of salt. I can do a pinch of salt. Get the old stove thing going. Top quality stuff here. Pinch of salt, like so. Right. Now, I'm going to put that on the heat. This could be the perfect day to try this. Not that it's great that I'm not making any money, but the way I see it, if you get a quiet day, it's best to make something out of it, you know? I know that's like, oh, you just got to try and not think about it too much and get something out of it. Um, right, so in the meantime, medium heat, combine them off, stir often until mixture reaches a bare, a bare simmer. Add a big spoonful of hot milk to the egg mixture, whisking vigorously. Repeat adding big spoons every time to temper the eggs. Once most of the hot milk has been added to the eggs, pour the mixture back into the saucepan out on the stove. Okay, right, so I'm gonna... Big spoonfuls. I'm probably just gonna use this. I'm just going to use this as the big spoon and then just like sort of just sort of shovel it out with a with one of these right so so I've got to bring this to a simmer so that might take a little while so I'll be back in a, I'll be back in a minute 
Yeah, I don't think I really need that second camera piece. I'll put my backs to it like the whole time, but oh well. I don't know if that's a bare simmer or not. I think it just needs to be hot. That's hot. Oh, this is just a test here. I'm just going to stick my finger in it. That's hot. So I'm going to say all you need that to be is hot. Bear simmer. Um, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it like that. That's. I don't want it any hotter than that, I don't think. Right, okay. So. He's saying now to whisk constantly for a few minutes so the mixture is slight. So, to whisk vigorously. So I can do that and slowly pour this in. Big spoonful at a time. I mean. I'm sure I can judge that just by pouring, right? I'm whisking vigorously, yeah? Vigorously going for it. So this is tempering the eggs. Don't hurt when my whisk is a bit broken. My whisk is slightly broken, so that is a bit of an issue. But Uh, pour the mixture back, most of the hot milk is added. Right, so we're just mixing it like this for now. Oh, it's smelling quite nice. It's smelling like how I thought it would smell. I like to think this is going quite well at the moment. I'm going to have to whisk it with that hand with, with my hand in a minute. Actually, do I have a whisk? I don't think I do, amazingly. I have one of these things. I'll probably do it. I can't believe I don't have a whisk. I just don't need one anymore. It doesn't say this needs to be any thick to this, it just says... Oh my god, it is so bad rain out there, do you wanna... Be... Look at that. Absolutely chucking it down. Right, we're nearly done with this. Oh, it's a good time to do this. It's basically done. Made quite a lot. I'm just going to find that all in there. I'm gonna say that's done. I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make the call that that's done. So now I'm gonna put that back on the heat. I'm now going to pour this back into there. That's made blooming loads. And then it says uh, whisk constantly for a few minutes till the mixture is slightly thickened. So I'm just going to have to use this. I need to buy myself a whisk, which is pretty hilarious. I don't have one of them, but anyway. I think it looks quite thick already. It's like frothy. Oh, 
Oh, that's a serious wrist workout. I know I keep... Why haven't I got my glasses on? I'm trying to read long distance without my glasses on. That's just... That was such an old age thing, that. Oh, my God. I'm 30. That felt like I was 30. it is 160 degrees. I've literally got thermometers, so I might as well go get a thermometer. I've literally owned thermometers. So I might as well get one and use one. 160. Okay. Bung that on there. Oh, professional. That's like the same sort of temperature you need coffee to be at. Okay. Then we've got to let it cool, so this might be a... We, we look back at this tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Oh no. That smells, smells pretty interesting. Right, well, we're nearly hitting 160. We're nearly hitting 160 now. Oh God, I'd say that's basically done. I'm gonna get a proper whisk to uh, do this for my, uh, if this passes my tests. Okay, I think we're gonna, that's gonna be that. Let's put it for a fine mesh strainer. I've got, I have, a strainer. It's got to go into here, which could be a bit of a challenge. What? The heat's gone back down again. That's about 160. I don't want to do it too much because I'm a bit sort of. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do that. That's gonna be it. Right, so, I hope this pour, I hope this is a clean pour. Okay. Quite a lot of the foam is being, quite a lot of the foam has been extracted, which is interesting. Oh, I actually didn't make much at all. Okay. Oh, bum. Vanilla. How much vanilla? Oh, quarter of a quarter of a teaspoon. I've got a quarter of a teaspoon, where is it? Give that a little mix. Just add, add alcohol, I'm not going to add any alcohol. Not to this one anyway. Ooh. Right, let's have a little taste, shall we? Oh, oh, that's delicious. Oh, blimmin' hell. It's like a, it's like a custard tart. 
has a different spoon by the way that's bloody nice it's really sweet okay however it says for that to cool so i'm gonna leave that to cool now um i've just made eggnog there you go <laughs> not the best looking uh thing ever but we're going to try that out in a latte tomorrow that's very exciting i think i've done it all so it says to refrigerate to make it cooler uh, to make it thicker so we're going to thicken that up then we're going to try it bloody exciting that is